Welcome to ERP Businesses Limited, Tally Software's authorized solution partner in East Africa. In this video, I'll be taking you through how Tally Software can be used for indent in purchases. The procedure is as follows. The store or on-site supervisor creates an indent voucher, which is approved by the manager of the project. Then the voucher is converted to a purchase order, and finally, a purchase. Usually used in manufacturing, production, or construction companies, where stores for materials are maintained. Thus, material requisitions are required. A few advantages of this are, a separate purchase indent makes the inventory management work quite easier. Complete documentation is there regarding the required quantity and quantity in hand. So the scope of mismanagement is reduced to a great extent. We can try a live example of a construction site. I've logged in with the indent creator account. I'll go to indent module, indent voucher, material requisition, the party account name will remain as the in, as indent as the person requesting for material would not be aware, aware about the supplier. I will choose the items when they are needed by the location that I'm ordering for, the quantity, and as displayed there will be no rate and amount in this voucher. then save it. When I check the on approval indent voucher register, it has appeared here. This user does not have rights to approve this voucher themselves. As you can see, the approve key is dormant. And the indent voucher register is empty. And I have blocked access to other reports for this user. So if I try enter in them, it will not allow. I will log in with the approver user, indent module, on approved register. From here, I can check the current stock available in the go down and decide whether it's urgently needed or not. I can also check when it's needed by, then select and approve. It has now shifted to the voucher register. and pending as well. Then I will log in with the owner account where I can convert the indent voucher to a purchase order. I'll go to purchase order, create, select my supplier, select the indent voucher number. The items have emerged automatically. I will select how many orders how many days this order is due in. I can choose to alter the quantity of bricks to 10. The rate can be modified accordingly. I can keep steel rods as it is. And I can remove glass completely because I don't think it's necessary. And save. When I go to the indent module, Indent voucher register, the purchase order number is displayed. The creator doesn't have access to other reports, so they can always check from here whether the requisition has been processed or not. There is a filter available in, the, in all the indent reports of indent items and indent number. You can also track the user that created the voucher and approved it. And we can check the indent voucher pending as well. It shows the indent quantity, the quantity in the order, and the balance remaining. I have two options. I can either pre-close these items or choose to make another purchase order later on. I will select and pre-close this requisition. I'll choose the quantity to pre-close, input the reason, and date 
I can check any pre-closed requisitions from indent voucher pre-closed. When I go to the indent voucher closed report, it will display material requisitions with zero balance quantities. With the order details, for example, bricks, the indent voucher number one, purchase order number one, the indent quantity, order quantity, and pre close quantity. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe for more videos.